<laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry, Mark. All right, Lisa. Yes, sir. Lisa, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? The what happened? Where are you from originally? Artesia. Here, California. Here in Los Angeles, somewhere. No, Artesia, California. Where's that? Yes. Where's that? By Bellflower, Norwalk. Yes, yeah, south of LA. Yes, sir. Artesia, Arta. Tell me about uh, your family. My family? Mm. Not much of a family. My mom had her favorite. I was not a favorite, but I took care of her up until her last breath. <laughs> and uh, they're both buried together, the favorites. But I, I survived. Were you the black sheep of your family? Outcast. Hmm. Yes, outcast. I'm not a black sheep. Okay. I'm an outcast. What, uh, what was your childhood like in general? How would you describe it? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to say that, but I had to get it out. Oh, it was horrible. I just told you, my mom did not respect me or in her own way, but God bless her. And my dad was not there. He left when I was seven years old. And uh, I basically raised myself. Any abuse? Yes, mentally and emotionally, but no physically. Mm -mm. You touch me, I'm gonna fight you back. <laughs> you started drinking at some point? I'm sorry? You started drinking alcohol at some point? Yeah, at 16 years old. 16? Yes. You took to it? Yes, I did. That's what took fear away. And I could become invisible and <laughs> fearless. I mean, I, I felt it. it. It's an escape. Has alcohol helped you over the long haul, or the, over the big picture? It's not really helping me nowadays, <laughs> but uh, it helped me in a sense to think that I was more powerful, that I could take a punch or what abuse it went through because it helped me to numb myself. You took a punch recently, it looks like. Yes, and a stabbing. A stabbing too, what, what happened? Ooh, your arm, that's a pretty bad wound on your arm. Yeah, he stabbed me with a knife. So, but anyway, I'm here. So who, who hit you and stabbed you? I, I cannot say, he's out there. Oh, I see. He will hit me again. So I keep it on the down low. Got it. Uh, but, uh, Guess who's gonna stab me next? God. <laughs> no. Do you have children, Lisa? Yes. My daughter is 35 and my son is 33. And they're awesome. I wasn't there for them. That's what made them stronger in their life. Because we can't wipe their asses all. <laughs> They have to become strong. Who raised your kids, mostly? Um, well, it was me until her father died, and then uh, their mother-in-law until she died. I got them back, but a lot of things happened. They were teenagers and running wild. And then their uncle in Tennessee. Right. You were drinking back then too? Hell yeah. <laughs> I go, hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that, but it's the truth. Yes. I've been drinking all my life, dude. But there were points in my life where I stayed sober. And I know what recovery is about. 
I'm looking at your readings on the wall, and it's, I'm a very curious woman, even though I drink. I still keep my posture about me, and I do have dignity. I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst. You get it? I do. <laughs> You're smart. So. Where do you live now? Where do you stay? In a tent still. I'm waiting on my housing. My case manager just came and seen me. She put in a referral for me to get housing. She's very kind to me. I don't know why, but along the way when I'm walking down the street, there are little things, that, miracles that come my way. I don't want to say, but he keeps on taking everything away from me. But guess what? It's okay, because I have faith. I might drink, but I still have it. I have me. Do you have friends? Not true friends. I know what a true friend is. A friend in need is a friend indeed. The friends are the ladies who give me a dress when I didn't have nothing. Those are friends, but I don't associate too much. You look beautiful today. I'm sorry? You look beautiful today. Oh, thank you. I don't feel beautiful. Yeah, you're beautiful in blue. Maybe I go get more beautiful. <laughs> Where do you get your clothes? The Women's Center. They give them out? People donate? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. The community down here is so well-dressed because of all the donations. That... Yes. Yeah. Oh, I know a lot of people. L.A. Ken. You know L.A. Ken? No. Yeah. Adam and Jennifer, Adam gave me my fifth tent. No, I don't want him to hear me. I'll, I'll get beat up. But, uh, Tell I... about living in a tent? I know them, huh? Tell me about living in a tent on Skid Row. It's, it's hard, but it is livable. Because the fact is, I have to survive in my way. How do you make money to survive? I'm sorry? How do you make money to survive? I don't get money. I go to places that give out free food and clothes. Why do I need money? What's that for? Drinks? Oh, that. <laughs> I forgot. I panhandle. Mm. Yeah. Hey, can I have some change? Don't give me five dollars at McDonald's. <laughs> oh. Do you talk with your family still? No, half of them are dead. What about your kids? I'm sorry. Your kids. Yeah, but I don't have a phone now. Of course, I talk to them. I know my son's number by heart. He is beautiful. So is my daughter. I would not allow her to be out here. She is gorgeous. Felicia Ann Maxwell. And uh, she's my firstborn. And she's gorgeous. I would not ever bring her out here. For Have you been married time. before? You've been in love? Yeah, when I was 16. But yeah, I've been married twice. They're both deceased. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I didn't. I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, God bless you. What was the best time of your life, the best years? Your best memories? I don't think I ever had the best year, to be honest. I can't remember because I've been through a lot of suffering right now. And, uh, The 
let me tell you something. For the best, it wasn't a year, it was a moment. When I was married to my first husband, he was so good to me. I don't know what he's seen in me. I kiss his toes because they're cute. <laughs> No, I don't want to talk about him. But that was the best moment, not a year. Mm -hmm. What's been the roughest time of your life? I'm sorry? What's been the hardest time of, of your life? Right now. Right now? Yes. How old are you now? I am coming up on 58. I'm old as fuck. But <laughs> I'm not sweet 16 anymore. <laughs> um, yes, this has been the worst. Being down here as a, as a woman, is it difficult? I'm sorry? Being a, a woman here on Skid Row? Is that uh, <laughs> you should answer that question. I've proven it, have I not? Look at the scars. Yeah, that happens a lot, I think. Yes. If you had your life to live all, all over again, what would you have done differently? I would have went to college, got a degree, and raised my kids rightly, and treated them rightly, and me rightly. Yes. I would give them the bedrooms and me the sofa with my little kitty. <laughs> yeah. So memories. What are you afraid of now? I said it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just, I don't want him to hear me. He'll get mad. Do you have hope for the, I'm do sorry. you have hope for your future? Oh yeah, I'll always keep hope. If I lose hope, I'll lose it. I'll lose me. What would you like, where would you like to be in five years? Hey, how about a mansion? <laughs> no, I like to be teaching others how to survive and giving them hope. Because a lot of us are hopeless. We feel hopeless, I meant to say. I take that back. But uh, I would like to encourage them that there is hope. I never lost hope. It's with me right now. Hope is right here. Hope's important. Yes, very. H-O-P. <laughs> what is your drink? What do you like to drink? Well, I love to drink beer. It's my specialty. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> How many beers a day will you drink? I will drink all day, but I don't get drunk anymore. It's funny, I used to be a blackout drinker, but now I don't do that. I'm very... Your body's gotten used to it. I watch my, my agenda. I have to. Has alcohol, would you say alcohol has ruined your life or...? or? Oh yes, yeah. oh yes, because I allowed it to. Is there anyone else in your family that was an alcoholic? I was wondering. Yes. I mean, maybe it's genetic. Yes. I hear you. I'm sorry. What's your biggest regret?
my biggest regret is, God, this is painful, is um, not being there for my kids because of my alcoholism. And that is the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. Lisa, what would you say is the most important thing you've learned in your 58 years? I've learned how to survive in sufferings, in caring, and now I'm learning how to respect people because they deserve it no matter what they call me. I've learned a lot. because I'm teachable now. God has shown me things that I never experienced before. And it's a beautiful thing, even though I drink. <laughs> All right, Lisa, thank you so much for sharing your story. I love you. I wish you the best of luck out there.